In the wake of mass school shootings, politicians blame atheism. So guys, before I get into this news, I'm going to be talking about some things that YouTube really, really hates. So please like this because I'm using some big words that trigger the algorithm. Ah, and Watcher just became a YouTube member. Thank you so much. Welcome to Saints Thank Minions. Thank you. Okay. Thank Anyways, you. next news. In the wake of mass school shootings, politicians blame atheism. A day after the terrible and deadly tragedy at Robb Elementary in U Uvalde, Texas, that claimed the lives of 21 people, several Republican legislators lamented the disaster and attempted to explain the cause of the shooting, attributing it to anything except the accessibility of deadly weapons. Senator Rick Gray blamed godlessness, stating, quote, we've been teaching our children that there is no God. Texas Lieutenant... Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick also blamed a lack of religion in declaring, we have devalued life in this country. We threw out God in school. Wisconsin's representative, Senator Ron Johnson, blamed, quote, wokeness when he declared, quote, we're indoctrinating our children with things like CRT, meaning critical race theory, telling some children they're not equal to others and they're the cause of other people's problems. He also extended the blame to, quote, the secularization of society and the loss of faith. On May 31st, the Freedom From Religion Foundation, or FFRF, released a statement condemning the politicians who blamed the Texas school shooting on, quote, atheism, irreligiosity, or lack of faith, and also publicized the strongly worded letters that they sent to each of the offending legislators. How is atheism devaluing life? Isn't it the opposite? Even isn't it isn't when you think you have endless eternal life, doesn't that devalue life more than like wouldn't the people who think like we have limited amount of time to live make make more every second of life more precious? Like aren't you increasing the value of life when you understand that you have limited amount of it? Yeah. Wouldn't you cherish it more? Wouldn't you try to protect life? life more when you do when you understand there's no afterlife so we have to like protect the lives so that they don't end prematurely like isn't it the yeah. opposite isn't it like isn't it like religions who are obsessed with martyrdom and dying for their cause and like kill, taking other people's lives for their cause like i never understood this idea like oh yeah atheism devalues life yeah no <laughs> it's the opposite you guys devalue life yeah, I want to read some of these statements in full because they're so, they're outrageous. So here's um, a bigger, better quote from Senator Rick Gray. The real core issue, and I'll be honest, this may be my bias, but this is just how I see it. For decades, for decades, we've been teaching our children in school, there is no God. You can't pray. You can't even pray on the field. There is no God. There are no absolutes. We live in a postmodern world. So whatever you think is right is right. And if someone else has a different view, you're still right. There are no absolutes. That we're animals and that we're just animals it's survival of the fittest but then we're shocked when they act that out but we say don't act that way these kids and it's usually been kids that are shooting kids in schools what have they been taught friends we have a state religion in the united states of america even though there's supposed to be separation of church and state there is a state religion it's human secularism aka atheism well, I mean, if there is supposed to be a separation of church and state, why are you talking about religion as a is this a politician? Yeah, this yeah. Is a who senator. is this? Like on yeah, the like well, then shut the hell up. Government. You're like, if there's supposed to be a separation of church and state, then shut the hell up. Why are you like anti atheist then? If there's supposed to be a separation of church and state, you can't be, you can't do that as a politician, okay? Um, but also, like, do do people who listen to this who are, believe it, do they ask, like, okay, can you provide us with evidence that this shooting, like, do is there any, like, do they point to, like, they just make claim. Here's here's what a lot of religious people do. Again, okay? again, okay, hashtag not all. Okay, just their because of their religion, they have their religion just makes claims and backs it off by nothing. So they just get this is you think like atheism makes us like kill people. Okay, well, you your religion. Is actually making you come up with claims without backing it up with anything right you just think like you just put something out there and people are like just as just, just take it that's what their followers do that's what they're if you're against athe if you're against atheism somebody be like hey atheism is rising people are being 
you know, shut in schools. This must be connected. Nobody asked for the, not that many people ask for verification. Where's that? Where's the, where's the correlation? Where's the causation? Have you proven the causation? It doesn't really matter. I just said something and you're just supposed to accept it and take it home. Here's another quote from Lieutenant. I mean, here's Governor. a question. Here's a question. Here's a question. Okay. Why do we not have such shootings in the, some of the most atheistic countries in the world? Okay. Like in Scandinavian countries. Okay. If it's godlessness that is making these shoot, shootings up, like you guys, this is a uniquely American problem. Okay. There are more atheistic, there are countries that are way more secular than your country that don't have this problem. Like, is this, it's just so hard to understand. It's just so stupid. I don't even know. I think like, maybe this is like, maybe I shouldn't be explaining this because maybe this is ableist. I think these people are too, too. Yeah. This is, this might be too much. Maybe I've, maybe these people are so broken in their mind that like I shouldn't be even we sh we're taking this too seriously. This is so obviously ridiculous that I shouldn't be responding to it like this. But yeah, yeah so what was really cool is that I mean I can um, read the statements from the other politicians in full. So on Fox News, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick said, "We are in a sick society where we're at each other's throat all the time." Everywhere you look, you uh, whether it's on the internet, whether it's any walk of life, people are just at each other every day. And we have to ask ourselves who we are. And I believe we're a nation of godly people. And godly people need to pray. And then he cited the Bible. And then he said, Christians have to pray for God to heal our land. And we have to take a stand. If there's some people in our country who are not believers, that's fine. I respect their right to not believe. But for those of us who are Christians, we need to take hold of our country. And we do that through prayer. You cannot change the culture of a nation without changing the character of the people. And you cannot change the character of without changing the heart. And you can't do that without turning to God. And um, Freedom from Religion Foundation your, responded by saying... Your God ignorant. literally asks for... Your God literally asks for genocide in all of, his, all of his books. What are you guys talking about? It literally demands people to commit genocide in the bible in the in the gita and in the quran you were ridiculous what are you talking about yeah so what's awesome about these um letters that the freedom from religion foundation sent out to these um government officials these legislators who made these statements is that they sent out these detailed letters that not only reprimand them for speaking about constituents in which they are ha charged with representing um is speaking of them in such ill will and ill contempt and defaming them basically um and reminding them of their responsibility to represent all of american citizens equally um but also they sent basically like a fact sheet of how the most religious nations are among the most violent have the most homicides and then how um how the social um determinant factors for less religious nations are so much higher it's like better places to be a woman better places to be a mother more gender equity not the equality um less rates of stds less rates of violent crime like all these things and then it was so funny you should mention that armin because they also cite the bible in these letters to the representatives saying here are all the times in which your god has called for or committed mass murder <laughs> so like i love how you're like bringing up these points and you haven't even read this <laughs> like you're on it <laughs> i think like we're being trolled you know what i mean i think like we're being like what how could we say the craziest most ridiculous hypocritical thing and make people think that we're being serious like, the, I think, like, I don't know. The, and these people are politicians. They've been voted. Like, people voted for these idiots. Like, I, I'm just going to make a claim and back it up by nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is obviously an America problem. This is an America problem. So maybe if you're looking for a cause, find it, find something that is uniquely American. If you have a, a uniquely American problem, the cause is uniquely American. um yeah again so what you're saying i mean how many kids did yahweh kill in egypt again i mean the flood the noah's flood there's also that mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. 
Okay. You want to read this one? This was directed at you. Anonymous Owl is saying, at Susanna, don't you think the mastermind behind this can be the Protestant churches? What? What are you talking about? Uh, I don't know. As in like a, cons what? Concerted conspiracy? I mean, like these are Protestant. Like. Mastermind behind what? People. I, I don't even understand. Eric is saying, don't ban gun ownership. Gun rights are human rights. Um, no, they're not. Uh, regulate gun I mean, I agree that people sh should be able to, I mean, we're just asking for regulations, okay? But even though I think like maybe they should be able to own guns after they pass a whole bunch of tests and stuff like that with the extra regulations, still gun rights are not human rights. What are you, not everything that you would like is human rights, okay? There are very few things like, for example, I believe that being able to drive a car is good. Like, you, uh, it, there shouldn't be any laws against people driving cars, okay? But car rights are not human rights. Not everything that you want is all of a sudden a human right, okay? Like, what basic human rights, for something to become a basic human right, it needs to be, it, it, like, for example, the in, they're discussing whether the internet should be in, inside that category. But you can't just lump in everything that you like into that category. So you regulate gun ownership to stop potential troublemakers from getting them. Yeah, there should be a lot more regulations. We're not just, it, guys, it's, even if you wanted to ban guns in the United States, it's impossible. You cannot just ban all guns in the United States. There's just too many people that have guns. It's impossible. Gun ownership is directly correlated to falling crime. That's a, that's a ridiculous, no, that's not, that's not the case, okay? It's, it's the opposite, okay? Just look at the Australia. Um... Anyways, people pick and choose cherry pick with their data. Oh, wait, there's a tweet that you wanted me to show. Oh, no, it's fine. It was just like a recording of him saying it, but okay. like we've already discussed it in full at this point. Yeah. Yeah, PK is saying it, it's my God. You know, read this one while I get the next two. <laughs> PK saying it's my God given right to own a bazooka. Freedom! This is why I want you to read them. You make it so much fun. <laughs> you read the you put so much personality into <laughs> I do no, I don't just read it. I do a dramatic reading. Yes, dramatic reading. That's why I want you to read the, the chats. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.